start off this look, I am going in with my Becca Backlight Filming Primer, whatever's left of it. It's pretty much completely empty, but it's working. Next, I am taking my Wet n Wild Foundation in Desert Beige. This has been my go-to foundation ever since I bought it, even though that was only like two weeks ago. I can't stop using it. It's so easy and blendable. It lasts all day. I just, I love it. Now on the concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in medium and light sand mixed together and then just blending that out with my Morphe G2 brush like normal. I do kind of like it when you blend this concealer out with the Beauty Blender, but it does take away a lot of the coverage um, and it picks up a little too much of the product. So I think a brush is definitely the way to go. Next, I'm going to set that in place with my Kat Von D Petal Brightening Powder. I've also been loving this lately. It's awesome. It does a really good job of brightening and just setting everything in place, but it doesn't add too much color or anything crazy like that. It doesn't change the color of your foundation. For bronzer, I am going to use the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And then to contour further, I'm going to use, I forget what I'm going to use. It's coming. Oh, there it is, yeah. The Tarte Sculpt uh, Contour Shade from their, oh my god, words, words from the contour kit that they have. Anyway. I decided to go ahead and just set underneath my contour because I got a little sloppy and I needed my makeup to last all day. If I really need my makeup to last, I pretty much set my entire face. That way I don't get oily or anything like that. For blush, I'm using Max Margin. And it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, so if you have like texture on your cheeks, like I've noticed a few blackheads that I have, it does kind of enhance them, so just be wary of that. But it's still a very pretty color. I am now taking a highlight from that same palette. These are super, super intense by the way, but I love them. I think this one was called Fire. And then I'm just gonna set my face with the Tarte Ready Set Radiance Spray and move on to the eyes. For the eyes, I'm using the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette for the most part. And I'm first taking that light brown shade. Do you like the bobby pin that's stuck to my palette? That's probably where all my bobby pins go. Seriously, like why? Anyway, on a MAC 224 brush, I'm just going to apply that into my crease for some warmth and just as my transition shade to make everything easier to blend later on. And then after that, I'm going to go in with this like mustardy brown shade. That bobby pin is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> and I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but this time I'm also going to kind of sweep it onto my actual eyelid. And just, yeah, just keep blending. I'm also gonna take that same shade and apply it to my lower lash line. Next up, I am taking this like reddish brown shade and I'm going to put that into the crease, mainly focusing on the outer corner and just blending it. And then I'm also going to put it on the outer half of my lower lash line just to connect everything. To highlight my inner corner and brow bone, I'm taking the two highlight shades in the palette. I'm taking a super intense one. I actually really like this as a nose highlight too, which is really weird. You actually see me do that later in this video. And then I'm using the matte one to highlight my brow bone. Just to add a little bit of sheen to the lid, I'm taking that color right there and just packing it onto my lid. 
I know there's already color on that brush, but on the other side of the brush, I swear it was clean. <laughs> and then I'll just go back in with that same reddish brown color and just blend it back into place because I kind of covered some of it up. You know how it goes. Now I'm gonna take this copper pigment from pigment, not pigment, from MAC, and I'm gonna take some Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glue. I know NYX has one as well. And you can use a tiny little brush if you want. I just used my finger and applied it onto my lower lash line. That way this pigment had something to stick to. I just wanted a little pop of something. And I feel like this kind of copper shade really makes brown eyes pop. I also spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus and it made it a little more intense and also just made sure it just really was not going to go anywhere and it stayed on my lower lash line the entire day. Like I had no fallout except for when I very first applied it, but for the rest of the day it stayed in place. It was awesome. I'm going in with my Clinique eyeliner and just tight lining and filling in my waterline with black eyeliner and then I also went in with my Kat Von D Trooper liner and did winged liner. And then after that, I went in with mascara and falsies. I believe I used the Double Up Double Demi Wispies. Yeah, that's what I used. Moving on to lips, I went in with Caramello, Caramello, which is like my favorite nude from Stila. And it's actually looking more pink on me recently. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. It's usually more nude but I also went on top of it once it dried with a MAC lipstick in the cream sheen shade. And here I am taking that eyeshadow I used on my inner corner and highlighting even more because I'm just, I just go overboard with the highlight. I can't even help it, but yeah. Next I went in with the lipstick, yada yada, and then that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video, bye.